here's an app that I made in AppLab on code.org and what you do is you paste or type some text into the box and it will guess which of these four authors uh, the text is from. So we've got Shakespeare, uh, author of many famous plays including my favorites Macbeth and Julius Caesar. Then you've got Tolkien, the author of Lord of the Rings, L. Frank Baum of the Wizard of Oz series, and George Orwell, who wrote 1984, among other great books. Okay, so all you do is type, uh, for example, to be or not to be, and click the button, and it'll tell you that's Shakespeare. Uh, or you might mention Dorothy, and it'll tell you that's from Baum. Or you might mention Hobbits, and it'll switch to Tolkien. Now, obviously, it won't do every phrase you can think of, but as many as you can code, that's how many it can tell you. Let's take a look inside. So first, let's show you design. So all these are just labels. You just drag them over, pick the colors, and change the sizes. It doesn't even really matter what IDs you give them because they're just decorations. They don't really do anything. Then you need one text input box. That one's right here. Just drag it over and make it the size you want to. Uh, I'm actually going to change the placeholder is what it says before you type something. So instead of paste text here, I'm going to change it to enter text here. Because sometimes you type it, right? That ID is important. So just I, I left it at text input one, but whatever it is, it's going to matter in the code. Um, these two down here are going to matter. This one just says label one, not very creative. and Because that's where your answer is going to go. And then I've only got one button, so I just left it at button one. Uh, a more descriptive label would probably be a good idea. Okay, let's look at the code. So first, and let me zoom out a little bit in case somebody wants to... I was going to try to show you all of it at once, but I think it's impossible to do. So here's just a quick glance that you could pause on if you needed to. All right, and now just a quick walkthrough of what this is. So at the very top, um, we're, we're not really doing anything until the button is pushed. All right, so that's why you see right here on event button one click. So whenever this is pushed, we're going to create a variable to hold whatever's in here. And we're going to call that variable sample text. So in order to grab it and hold it in a space, we're going to use a get text from the text input box. All right. And then on line three, we're going to take whatever value was typed in and we're going to set it all to lowercase. That way you don't have to worry about did they capitalize the H in Hobbit or did they not. Now the rest of the code is just a repeated uh, if statement. It's just a giant if statement. So let's ignore everything after these vertical bars and just focus on this beginning part. If the text that we've already switched to lowercase includes the phrase to be or not to be, then set the labels text to Shakespeare. That's right here. And then set the text input, this box, back to empty so that we can play again. All right, so that's the whole thing. Um, however, there's more than one phrase that could be Shakespeare, like what if they put a, a comma in it? So that's why you have this other case. These vertical bars represent or. So now if the sample text includes to be or not to be or to be or not to be with the comma in. And the reason this has gotten so long is there are lots of important phrases from Shakespeare, right? So what if they say all the world's a stage? Uh, if I want that to be included in here, then I have to have a special or case for it. And then I have another one for et tu brute, which is from Julius Caesar. So each one of these uh, little sections, like from here to the end, is a separate case of something that would give the result Shakespeare. So the Shakespeare answers are all included in this one if. Probably not the most elegant way to do it, uh, but that's what I have. Now this next chunk is all going to give the result of Tolkien. But the, the code, these blanks, are all the same. The only thing that's different is the very last one. So once you get one of these ifs done, you can copy and paste it and just change the values. So for Tolkien, uh, any text that's input that includes who wander, that includes one ring, that includes Mordor, Hobbit, Bilbo, and Shire. Those would be very specific to Tolkien. And then we'll go down here and do the same thing. This, the answer is 
Baum, so this is all in the Wizard of Oz section. Any mention of Oz, Dorothy, Ruby, Tin Man, Scarecrow, Brick Road would all answer to Baum. And then the last one, Orwell, maybe the least recognizable of these for uh, young people. The phrase, war is peace, new speak, freedom is slavery, big brother, Winston, or just the words 1984, or the numbers 1984, will all result to Orwell. So just to test on the, uh, on the case sensitivity, let's go back over to the big one. All right. We already did to be or not to be. We already, all right, well, let's just do a Shire. So the Shire goes to Tolkien, but what if I make it all caps? Well, I should do a different one, right? Because it's already on Tolkien. Uh, what about to be or not to be in all caps? That should still pop because in the code I had that one line at the very top that says sample text to lowercase. All right, I think you get the idea.